Welcome back to the Lucas Oil PBA Badger Open on CBS Sports Network. Jake Peters head to head with Aaron Lawrence. Third match, step ladder finals. The top seed Josh Blanchard from Phoenix awaits. We will have a brand new PBA Tour champ. That much we have decided already coming in. Mike Logan Jr. had three championships. Kurt Pilon had one. And the other three, all bidding for number one. And memories for a lifetime. That's not good. Didn't like it for good reason. Man. Five, stand. Four, six, seven, nine, ten. Split Greek church. Well, Greek church. Unfortunately, just a bad shot. He gets it in, and that ball just goes right through the schnoz. Leaves a pretty ugly design. Oh, look at the reaction. You saw Carmen Salvino, PBA legend back there. Could not convert the Greek church. Such a difficult split to try to cover, of course. He's looking for a turkey there, and gets down 61 pins. Some other notables, Chris Barnes and Belmo. We'll see them throughout the summer swing. Some great names up there, Andres Gomez, Jason Sterner, TJ, my buddy TJ, and Mike Fagan. Wow, kick a man when he's down, really? 8-10. Lack of rise of the split. Well, and this is a split that you just don't see anymore because of the length of the old patterns and the strength of the bowling balls. And uh, we did see 8-10 throughout qualifying Waukesha lanes on the wood on this 52-foot pattern. Not good. So Peters works on a spare here, eighth frame, and he is in tremendous shape. As yeah. balloon bal the lead balloons through 72 pins. Yeah, Jake could take a nap right now and still win this. Shots like that, he will. Head to PBA.com to check out all the officially licensed PBA merchandise and apparel. Items available at the online store include t-shirts, hats, jackets, polos, hoodies, and more. Simply click the shop tab at PBA.com to get started. I got you a hoodie for your birthday. I appreciate that. It's yeah. coming up in a few days. You're an XL, right? Large, actually, but I'll take you XL. Well, just wash it in hot water and dry it for about four days. It'll fit. <laughs> this match is over. Jake has clinched it. And he will move on to take on Josh Blanchard. Well, Former college teammates at Wichita State. Sorry, Dave. Jake Peters is a really nice young man and, and very personable. And boy, I, I thought he was a pretty good guy until I saw what he just did to Aaron Lawrence. I mean, he's. Strike out to shoot 270. Apparently he's in a lot nicer off the lanes than he is on the lanes. Yeah, that was pretty good too. I just fell way behind. And just couldn't figure it out. The youngster looking for his first career title will not happen today. So Jake will take on Josh. We haven't had a player win two games in a row on the telecast either. Pretty good in some game. As you talked about uh, with Josh Blanchard, the top seed before our match play started today. Josh so excited to be able to sit and watch, not climb that ladder. But that can be a tough position as well. One game, everything on the line. Got the eight ten out. <laughs> out. As soon as he's done with college, he's going to join the PBA Tour and sure hope we get to see him again. Really good player and a lot of fun. Good guy. Great personality. I think he'll be a factor in. Up and coming start. Perfect ball there. Bolton this year's Right, PBA World Series fun. of Bowling in Vegas. Best finish until this in five PBA events of which he So great finish for Aaron. Coming so close here in Milwaukee. Yeah. 
So, hey, I'm going to give it a little. Uh, Good luck in the finals. Thanks. Famous Thank golf analyst, Hammer. I don't want to rain on uh, Aaron Lawrence's parade, but he could lose by over 100 pins if Jake Peters strikes out. This for 93 pin lead. Which he does. This fan club's excited. Hey, Jake, don't waste him. He's already won. You know, he could get a penalty for piling on right now. <laughs> Throw a flag? Yeah. <laughs> Is that going to come from the booth? Come from you, Dave Ryan. <laughs> Top seed, Josh Blanchard. Former college teammates with Jake Peters at Wichita State. Legendary coach Gordon Vatican's got to be pretty interested in this result coming up. You saw Josh Blanchard's face there. He was clean shaven before this, this show started. <laughs> There's the 10 pin. Although that was a foul, we're now told. Nice game. Hey, good luck in the finals. Regardless of that foul, it's an easy win for Jake Peters from Decatur, Illinois. What a setup we've got for you in the championship match. Former college teammates, top seeded Josh Blanchard. And Jake Peters are set to go head to head. The championship on the line. Two C. Jake Peters throws the front six. Easy win over amateur Aaron Lawrence. Two sixty five to so one seventy four. Now he'll take on the top seed Josh Blanchard. Blanchard for the Badger Open title. And now Randy is joined by Aaron Lawrence. Got to be proud, I'd imagine. Randy of his first career TV appearance. Hey, thanks, Dave. Aaron, we sure enjoyed watching watching uh, you go at it today. I know that you would have wished the outcome would have been different. But but tell everybody at home what your experience was like today. Oh, there's nothing like this. I mean, to get this many people here to watch us, this was fantastic. I mean, a once-in-a-lifetime experience for sure. And so what happened that last that last game against Jake Peters with your ball reaction? Oh, well, the lanes dried up a lot quicker than I thought they would. Um, I thought I was staying on top of moves, but I guess not. Uh, I was pretty happy with the majority of my shots, but I'll know for next time. That's for sure. When do we get to see you next time? Uh, hopefully soon. I'll write you a note, get you out of college early. Perfect. Appreciate it. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Randy is still a senior to be at Saginaw Valley State in Michigan. Number one seed is Josh Blatchard from Gilbert, Arizona, just outside Phoenix. Looking for his first oh, career PBA title. Let's find out more about Josh Blanchard. Grew up in Southern California. Grew up in the same organization as uh, Randy Peterson and the junior amateur tour there. And then uh, just have moved up the ranks since then. Uh, gone to college and then become professional. Bold Team USA, junior Team USA, done all that. Um, and just out here now. Um, got married a couple of years ago to my wife. and. And I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for her. She's really supported me, and she takes care of everything at home when I'm gone, and I'm gone a lot. So uh, without her, none of this would be possible. So I'm thankful I have her in my life. And he and wife Amy are expecting their first child, a daughter, August 14th. What better way to get ready for the baby's arrival than to win his first career championship? He'll take on former college teammate at Wichita State. What a storyline that is. Jake and Josh next for the championship from Milwaukee.